So in this video, I'm gonna be going over what I think are the best painting easels. Hi, welcome to Paint Coach. I'm Chris Fornatero here to help simplify oil paint so you can get better faster. All right, so before I go over the easels I have, I wanna address the uh, common problem that is a lot of people don't have the space for an easel, they don't have the money for an easel, they're just starting out painting, they don't wanna make the giant investment that an easel can be, even though these that I'm gonna be going over are very cheap uh, in relative to what a lot of easels can cost. Uh, I first want to give you some options if you're just first starting out. Um, just like if you're first starting working out, you want to go straight to a squat rack and start throwing on weight. You do body weight squats, you do push ups. If you can't do push ups, you do knee push ups. Start with what you can do, and the same goes for easels. Start with what you need and then build from there. It's better to have something than nothing because if you have something, you can. Uh, gain momentum and then once you have momentum then it'll be more appropriate for you to spend a little more money on an easel so if a little uh, tripod table easel uh, is best for you then get one of those I'll put a link to a couple that I think would work really great um, these are very basic it's pretty much just there to hold your canvas upright which is an easels main purpose but it still works and it's something it's better than nothing and you can set it up and take it down if you don't have a lot of space if you live in an apartment, if you have roommates, uh, this is a great option. All you need is a table and set it up. Set it up somewhere where you can constantly be stepping back and looking at it. Uh, set it up somewhere where you can be standing up and painting as long as, and sitting down. So I put a link to one that I think is really good on Amazon below. So if that's what fits you best, then go ahead and get that. So the first easel I'm going to go over that I use is the French easel. All right, so this is my French easel, and this easel's been through a lot. Uh, this is actually pretty cheap. I think I got just under $100. I've had this for quite a long time, I think probably five, six years or so. Um, and it stand up a lot. I take this plein air painting, so I'm always kind of like carrying around, banging it around, going up, you know, hiking trails, mountains, stuff like that. So this is, you know, really taking a pounding. Uh, and the thing I like it most about these easels is they're so versatile, like you can use this for plein air painting. You can also use this as a great studio easel because you can see you can set it up here and you just got everything you need. Um, it's got the legs so it can stand up, it can raise up really high. You can close down those legs and just set it on the table if that works best for you. Uh, you got this little drawer here that pulls out that you can set your palette on while you're painting. And it's also got the apartment th compartment right here for any paint stuff. So if you're, you know, painting uh, situation like you're living in an apartment or got roommates, this just kind of keeps, you know, it's like a little portable painting studio. You kind of have everything right here. You can set it up wherever is best for you. I suggest setting it up near a window if you're painting indoors. So you can open that window and not breathe in all the uh, painting fumes, but this is a, a good one um, budget wise because like I said, you can use it for a lot of things. Uh, if you wanna try your hand at planar painting, you can go ahead and do that. If you wanna use this as a great studio easel, it's kinda got everything. So this is what it looks like when it is all packed up. It's a real space saver. All the legs fold on in. Right there, you got a little handle that you carry it with. And that is the French easel, just the all around, old, reliable, good, sturdy French easel. All right, next I have my studio easel. This is your basic studio easel, raises and lowers. Got the top right here, which you can put down onto your canvas to hold it in place. You screw that right there. It's very, this is very basic. Uh, it can uh, lean forward and back. I never really, once I set it up, I never really change it. If I ever were to do a bigger can, like a really large canvas that's too big for this, I'd probably just buy another one of these and put it side by side, honestly. Uh, you can do that, or you can just buy a really big uh, easel. It'll probably be a lot more expensive, something to hold that. And you're getting to the uh, $500 and up range uh, for something that big. But this one that I got on Amazon, I've been really, really happy with. You know, I, I wasn't too sure when I bought it. I hoped that everything would stay working for a while and I've had this for a few years and it's great. 
I'll put a link to it in the description below where you can get it. And this is just pretty much everything you need. Um, there's no bells or whistles to it, no, you know, pallets that sling out or brush holders like some easels have or tons of different knobs and stuff. It's very basic, but it does the job great. Um, it's very small, like the base of it. It doesn't take up much space at all. It's very light, so I can kind of pick it up and move it. Pretty much I think anybody could pick it up and slide it around and move it. And when I was, uh, when I first bought this, I was actually painting out on a balcony about like a, uh, had about an eight foot by three foot space to paint. And I kind of needed to use every square inch that I had. And so this was a really good uh, easel for that. So when you're painting, you just pop in your canvas, bring this down, lock it in place and you're good to paint. All right, so that's uh, my recommendations for easels. Again, I'm trying to keep this simple for those starting out, so those that probably don't have a lot of space or a lot of money uh, to spend on an easel. Uh, but I also wanna give you guys good quality that I know works and I know these two work and they work well. If any artists out there have any recommendations for good easels, uh, please let me know in the comments section. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Forza43. I am Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting.